Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all okay. Thanks for joining me today for another video, and this is quite a different video. Um, I thought I'd show you something that I picked up recently, and it's sort of inspired by two channels that I watch on YouTube, two of my favourite channels. The first one is Andy Kirby, he does a lot about electric stuff, and he's a radio amateur on the side. And the second one is Noximan. Uh, Paul, he does a lot about radios, but he's into electric stuff on the side, and... The products in this video, which is the Xiaomi Magia M365 electric scooter, is something that Paul picked up a while back. And I've also been watching for around 12 months now and, and thinking about buying one. So what I did last week was bit the bullet and got one. And it's arrived. So I just thought I'd do a couple of videos on it. Uh, this one is just sort of to show you all the features of the scooter. Uh, it does come with an app um, and all sorts of stuff. So I just thought I'd show you that and then we'll take it out for a spin and see how it performs and the reason there's a couple of reasons I got this the first one is I'm sort of starting to get interested in electric stuff and electric vehicles and it is a you know a little electric vehicle and I just thought it was you know an easy way to dive into the shallow end first I mean Andy's got a Renault Twizy which is an electric small electric car and it's amazing um, but yeah so and then the second reason around where I live there's a lot of like cycleways um, footpaths trails long roads things like that It'd be perfect to just to jump on this with a couple of radios and go out and doing some testing rather than like lugging the car around and you know it just makes it easier to get from from A to B. And um, these have got a lot of advantages because the, a lot of commuters use them. So those who work in cities, they park outside towns. If you look at a lot of the reviews, they park sort of outside the town, leave the car, and then go into work on the scooter. So they're, they're sort of really um, becoming popular now, and the, an adult scooter, which is nice, so the the full size um, for adults. So yeah, this is what the scooter looks like. It's really, really nicely designed. It, it's, uh, it comes in black or white. Well, it's like a, a grey and black. I got the grey and black. Um, they're the only two colours it comes in at the moment, and it's really quite minimal. Um, you can see on the top there, we've got the power switch with the four LEDs. We've got a little throttle lever and a bell on the handlebars and a brake lever. Um, so it's that that's it for controls. It's really simple and straightforward and sort of really minimalist which I thought was nice now the body on the scooter is made of aircraft grade aluminium um, so it's really strong it's ideal for carrying adults because um, that's what it's designed to do um, you know the welds are really strong on it as well really like professional welds on it I was quite surprised with how um, well put together this scooter is I, I wasn't sure what to expect I've watched a few videos online but it's hard to see from videos sometimes so I wasn't sure what to expect but I was really pleasantly surprised by the build quality on this thing and it's heavy as well um, so those welds and the aircraft grade alloy really sort of help hold things together when it's carrying an adult I mean I'm like 14 stone um, and it you know, carries me really well so it's uh, nice and strong um, it does fold down so the only assembly when it comes out of the box is you screw the handlebars on um, you get a tool to do that and there's only four screws little screws and once they're in that's the assembly done but it does fold down so the handlebars fold down you can see there's a clasp there which is locked in place with a protective cap but that just unlocks and then the handlebars close down and you can buy like a bag to carry this thing in um, it doesn't come with it but you can buy one but it just makes it handy for throwing in the boot putting in the back of the car um, you know so it's easy to take away or take to you know other locations um, in the car it's not even though it's quite a decent sized scooter it does fit into the car quite nicely um, it's fitted with a safety braking system so it has a EABS brake on the front and a mechanical disc brake on the rear so the motor brakes on the front and then it has a disc brake on the back and that just makes it a little bit safer you don't if it was just front end braking there's a chance you'd go over the handlebars and if it was just rear braking on its own you can skid out and stuff in wet conditions so um it's it, it's just handy uh, some other features on it as well it's got cruise control which i'll show you in a minute and um, it's got a bms system as well which i'll also show you in the app um, another massive positive is the battery. So it's a really, really good battery on this. It's an 18,650 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, um, and 
it's definitely Xiaomi definitely haven't compromised on this battery. It's with a full charge, it gives you a maximum mileage of 30 kilometers, which is really good considering the size of the device. Um, obviously, that will depend on terrain and conditions and the weight of the person, but that's an average. So you know, even if it did, even if it did half that, it's still impressive. Like fi even if it did 15 kilometers, it would still be impressive for an electric scooter of its size. And there's a four LED. Um, light indicator on the top which shows you what battery percentage you're on. Um, a really impressive thing is that there's an app uh, for this device, uh, for this scooter sorry, which I'm going to show you in a minute. It just gives you all the information you need such as the batteries, um, speed control, cruise control, um, all sorts of things. It links up to the scooter via Bluetooth to your smartphone or tablet which I thought was another nice feature. Um, another brilliant feature is kinetic energy recovery. So basically that converts kinetic energy into electrical energy to charge the battery. So when you're riding, you're not just drawing charge from the battery, you're also charging. So if you're coasting, um, you can you can recharge the battery as you go in. So I took this out for 40 minutes before and the battery went down really slow. And that's because I was going sort of up and down hills and in the downs. And when you're coasting, it's also um, charging the battery back up as well. Um, it's IP65 rated, so it's waterproof, so all the electronic parts, like the battery, the control panel on the top, uh, the battery charging port, they're all completely sealed, so it's waterproof. I wouldn't want to go riding this through deep puddles anyway, but it's you know if it's been raining or the ground's wet, you're not going to have any issues with this because um, of the IP65 rating. Um, it's got inflatable tyres, so that's a bonus they you can buy spares so they're not hard tires they're inflatable tires you can buy spares relatively cheap but what a lot of people have recommended doing is fill them with the um that tire weld stuff so if you get a puncture um it, it won't harm it it'll seal back up again but the, the tires you can get spares quite easily apparently they're a little bit tricky to put on but it's not the the end of the world should you get a puncture um and the tyres are apparently skid resistant and have a shock resistant feature as well. What a few other videos have said that if you if you inflate the tyres just under the the correct pressure, it does tend to reduce bumps um, and road noise. But I've not tried that. Mine are just pumped up to full, but I haven't found any issues with it anyway. We'll go through that when I come to test uh, the scooter. Um, the maximum speed you can ride is 25 kilometers an hour in normal mode. Um, however, in energy saving mode, the speed will come down to 18 kilometers per hour. So by pressing the bottom button on the top control panel, that activates a green LED, which in turn activates um, energy saving mode. And while that does bring the speed down, it, it you know sort of um, prolongs the life of the battery. Um, maximum charge time 5.5 hours that sounds like a lot but when you look at what it takes to charge some other devices so for example a radio can take an hour or so a smartphone can take an hour or so you know five hours it's not too bad at all and some people are reporting three hours four hours so you know that's um, that that's not bad at all really considering the size of the battery as well um, it has a front lamp, so it has a little headlight on the front which is activated by pressing the power button once and it's got a tail light indicator as well and when you push the brake, when you pull the brake lever, the tail light indicator flashes which is, um, I thought was quite a nice feature. Um, it also pulses when the battery is on charge and then it just goes to fix red when the battery is fully charged. Um, the overall weight of the scooter is 12 and a half kilos which includes the battery and everything um, so you could carry it on your shoulder I think it would get a bit heavy over over time but you know it's it is holding a massive battery and it's all metal in design as well so uh, that, that's not too bad really and I suppose that extra little bit of weight adds a bit of stability when you're out and about um, riding it Okay, so charging on the scooter is quite straightforward. You've got a mains transformer here. Um, this end goes into the power port on the bottom of the scooter, and of course, this end goes straight into the mains. And it does come with the um, EU or US version here, the two-pin one, should you need it. For attaching those screws to put the handlebars onto the main um, front post, you've got this little Allen key here. That's all that's needed to put those screws on and to inflate the tyre pressure should you need to you've got a little adapter here for a tyre pump uh, a foot pump or a hand pump there so you just put that into the tyre and it um, just helps you to inflate those up so 
what we'll do now is we'll have a quick look at the app and I'll just show you around um, the free app that you can download to, to sort of control this scooter. Okay, so this is the app, it's called Segway 9Bot and this is the app that you use to control the scooter. On the main page here we've got a dial which shows you how much battery percentage you've got left so you can see I've got 60% and I went out for a run with it for about 30-40 minutes before and with the regeneration you can see we've got quite a lot left it's showing that we've got 18 kilometers left. So I'm not sure exactly how much I did before when I went out but I was up and down all over the place and the battery seems to have coped with it quite well. On the next screen here, you can see we've got the um, oh, so I did I did 7.8 kilometres um, on this thing, and I was going sort of up and down hills. So where I live is quite hilly. So I've done 7.8 kilometres. There's 18 left, and um, so it's just under the 30 mark. But as I say, that is um, going uphill for quite a lot of um, the duration of this ride. We've got the vehicle temperature there which is showing 16 degrees um, and then when you get out there it just gives you this um, so you could actually mount this on a on a holder on the handlebar and it would just show you some more live information but probably not the best idea to be looking at your phone while you're riding this thing. So if we just go into vehicle uh, oh sorry energy recovery um, level there you can see you can um, change the name of the vehicle and you can put a vehicle connection password on you can set your units to metric or imperial I've just kept mine to metric so you can see the energy recovery level here so it says when releasing the accelerator the vehicle can start energy recovery and feed back part of the vehicle's glide energy into the battery at the same time the vehicle has a sense of deceleration and the user can adjust it according to um, his own needs so I had it set to weak so what I notice is when you let go of the accelerator it feels like it's braking um, and if you have that set to strong it, it feels like it's doing it more so I just kept it set to weak just um, makes it a little bit more stable so that's quite good and then you've got cruise control so it says once cruise control has been enabled you can ride the vehicle at a constant speed by holding the accelerator steady for five seconds until you hear a beep and then release um, press accelerate again to disable cruise mode please avoid using this feature in public areas where people are present so you can set cruise control to on or off there and we've got the rear light I've got that just set to on so it's always on but it will flash when the brake is pressed cruise control we've got some cruise control settings here or is that turning it on yeah so that's turned it on um, and if we look at me we've got services so we've got the user manual mileage estimator and things like that uh, night mode and some other settings here um, but yeah it's quite a decent app really settings at the top oh yeah that's another thing you can actually update the firmware on this device it will check for updates so mine's up to date so if you buy one of these just check for updates first by clicking that and it'll tell you whether it's up to date or not and if it's not just download the firmware updates on that basic info firmware version vehicle temperature showing us there's nothing now um, and we've got the serial number and then battery this is quite interesting so this gives you all your battery settings so we've got the remaining percentage at 60 percent remaining power um, 4755 milliamp hours battery status is normal I'm not sure what, what it, it might tell you if it's overheated or if it's too cold or something like that voltage 37 volts um, the current 0 0.02 amps that's just at the moment because it's only switched on um, so yeah, it just gives you live readouts of what the battery is actually doing, uh, battery temperature and things like that. So it's quite a handy little app to have, just, just enables you to get into some of the other features on, on this little device. Okay, so that's an overview of the app. As you can see, it's quite a nice little tool to have with the cruise control setting and the um, energy recovery system settings and things like that. Um, definitely makes things handy and of course it's nice to see how much battery you've got left. I know the LED indicator does tell you on the scooter but it gives you a bit more of an idea in the app itself and of course it just connects via Bluetooth. Okay, so there's only sort of two negatives that I can find with this um, scooter and they're not even negative really the first one is that the maximum weight limit for this thing is 100 kilos which is around 15 and a half stone so you know around the 15 16 stone mark is probably the limit but that that's still decent and I'm, I'm sure it would on a flat it would carry slightly more than that it may only be an issue when it comes to going up hills um so you know for the size of the device I suppose it's not that much of a negative and then the second one which a lot of people are reporting is the low ground clearance so if you go down a curb or over a big enough bump it will scrape the bottom of the scooter 
Um, and of course, any like roads that have that has sort of got gravel on or rocks and stones, it's you know it could be an issue going over them. But what you've got to remember is the these are designed on the little micro scooters that came that were sort of all the range in the early late nineties, early two thousands, and they had really low clearance anyway. So you you can't. It would be hard to make the clearance on this higher and um, you'd need a bigger wheel bigger rim um you know that would mean modifying the motor more and stuff like that but you know don't go down curbs on it it's as simple as that i've been out on this this afternoon and i didn't have any issues with the low ground clearance and i was just conscious of it as i was going around just looking ahead of me just to see if there's anything that would possibly scrape um the underside i never had any issues whatsoever Okay, so I think I'll leave that one there, guys. Um, that was part one, just a bit of an overview of the Xiaomi Magia M365 scooter. Really impressed with it so far. As I say, I have been on a ride with this this afternoon for about 40 minutes and absolutely loved it. Um, the, the mount for my GoPro is broke, so I've ordered another one. So as soon as that comes, I'm going to put the GoPro on and take you out for a spin with, with it as well. But I just thought it would be a nice um, addition to uh, Ringway Manchester YouTube channel just to, you know, to take out. Um, you know, to mess around with and go up on um, some of the trails around here with radios and do some testing. It's just a good excuse to get out of the house. So yeah, any questions, drop them in the box below. I um, hope you enjoyed this review. There are more comprehensive reviews out there, but I've just sort of given you some top line on this scooter. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any comments, suggestions, questions, drop them in the box below. If you haven't already clicked the like uh, button, then make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, then make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for part two coming soon, guys. Thanks so much for watching. 7-3 for now. Cheers.